Congrats to Bam Rodriguez of becoming the WBC Junior Bantamweight Champion by knocking out Estrada in his seventh round. Bam went into this fight as a five and a half one favorite. Estrada's been out for a year and he treated Estrada like he was out for a year. He went in there and did what he's supposed to do, even got dropped, came back and knocked Estrada out, had him hurt multiple times in this fight. Every time I see this kid, he's more impressive. The footwork, the punches from different angles. And he reminds me of Terrence Crawford when he throws punches, between punches, and that's how he ended the Strata fight. As many things this kid do well, and that's why I have him in my top five. After anyway, Crawford, Canelo, Uzik. But this kid is only 24 years old. And he's humble, seemed like a good kid. So I look forward to see more of Bam Rodriguez. And I'll be the first to say, maybe I'm a prisoner of the moment and put him in the top five. But last night, he looked like a top five pound for pound fighter. Tia Fimo was 11 to 1 favorite to beat Claggett last night. And Tia Fimo won every round, don't get me wrong. And Tia Fimo looked like he took worse punishment than Claggett did. And I thought that was Tia Fimo's night. I actually, that Tia Fimo would finish this guy in six rounds. I'm not taking anything away from Claggett. Claggett hung in there and tough. He took T.O. to 12 rounds. Props to him. Every time T.O. has a fight and he performs, lower than expectations, I hear the excuse he fights to his opposition. Well, from what I heard, he could have fought Kenny Sims Jr. He could have fought Elvis Rodriguez. He could have fought better opposition, but he chose to fight Steve Claggett, a guy who has seven losses going in and now has eight. So he didn't pick Claggett because of his toughness. He picked Claggett because he thought Claggett was the easy route and he would look good in that fight, which I thought he would too. And maybe I hold Tia Fimo in higher expectations than everybody else. Out of Tio, if you claim to be the best boxer in the world, I expect you to perform like the best boxer in the world. But you can't go out there criticizing Crawford, Javante Davis, Shakur Stevenson, and have performances like this. And I know he won every round, but he should have won every round and then some. This fight should not have went the distance if you're that guy. And I think T.O.'s a good fighter, but I thought he was a fantastic fighter at 135. Another thing I noticed, and it's not just the Claggett fight, but all the fights at 140 that T.O. Fimo's had, the power is not the same. It's the David Benavidez syndrome. Teofimo was a devastating puncher at 135. 140, not so much. They are able to absorb Teofimo's punches at 140 better than at 135. Teofimo laid some devastating body punches, some great uppercuts, and Claggett was able to hang in there. At 135, those guys would be going within five or six rounds. And now he's talking about moving up to 147. Like I said earlier, maybe my expectations are higher for T. Fimo, but I was not impressed with his performance Saturday night. The name Crawford should not come out of his mouth. Crawford ain't no damn, and Crawford, let's just put this way, Crawford ain't no damn uh, Charlo. Different mindset, different skill set. This dude is serious. Um, um, he sees something in Canelo that he feels that he can exploit. And I believe him. See, the thing, the way you beat Canelo is you don't let him hit you. That was Tim Bradley, and you gotta love his last statement. The way you beat Canelo is not to let him hit you. This is boxing. You talk about one of the best, greatest boxers in the world today, and he's not gonna hit you the whole fight? I mean, you can say that in any fight. Oh, you can win the fight, but don't let him hit you. This is boxing, you're gonna get touched. Now, the latest going on with Canelo is, they said he might not have a fight in September, and he might fight Crawford in December if Crawford gets past Majumov. That is just the latest. You know boxing news, it changes all the time. We know the obvious. Tim Bradley is a huge Terrence Crawford fan. He believes Terrence Crawford will be Mayweather in a fantasy matchup, which to me, it depends on what weight class is in. And he also says, and he would be correct with this statement, Terrence Crawford is not Jamel Charlo. And that's the reason I would pick Canelo to win the fight because I think once Canelo touches him and if he hurts Bud, 
Bud is trying to retaliate. He's going to fight back. And that will be his demise in a fight. That's just my opinion. Bud has proved people wrong before. And he may prove me wrong in this Canelo fight. I think it'll be a highly competitive fight until that happens. But I think power will make the difference. But I don't like to count my chickens until the hatch. I think Crawford needs to get past Majamont first, which I don't think it's going to be easy. And what Tim Bradley needs to recognize is this. Canelo Alvarez is not Errol Spence. This will be two of the highest boxing IQs in boxing going head to head. Anyway, leave your thoughts or comments below. Let me know what you think about Tim Bradley's comments and also Tia Fimo's performance. JBZ, I'm gone.